took it off. That's not even close. Oh, <laughs> oh Court. Shit, shit. Bang. Didn't spill a drop. Just wanted to do a quick little walk around of the truck here while it's still sunny out. Here we have the inside of it. I mean, as you can see, it is about clean as a whistle in here. The whole thing looks really good. He left me this nice little cushion because that seat's blown out, but no big deal. We got the four-wheel drive shifter in the floor there, which is a super cool feature. I love that. I hate having the stupid little buttons, they're so unreliable. I like to just be able to throw it in 4x4, four four. and no, it's in 4x4. Four four. Dude put a little aftermarket stereo in there, but I'm not really worried about any of that anyway. That's there, and take a look at the back here. We got full four doors in the back, all crank windows, all manual door locks but just super clean on the inside. And there we can get a good view of the whole entire interior. I mean, it's in great shape. Everything's clean. I mean, these guys use it as a work truck for sure, but you can't really tell that much. It certainly doesn't look like our work trucks, but anyway. This is what the interior looks like. It's in pretty good shape. Just wanted to show you guys that. I don't have any keys in there, so I can't show you the odometer, but there's like 171,000 miles on the odometer, but as you'll see in a later video, we're getting a brand new engine, so none of that matters. By the way, it's a gorgeous day here in Oregon. It's like 65 degrees outside, so I figured it was a perfect time to go ahead and give you guys a walk around. It's been rainy a lot when I've been working on the truck, so you probably caught my uh, slip there on the steps, but uh, <laughs> I'm good. And boom, just like that, we're here. As you can tell from the time lapse, he Lives pretty close, same neighborhood, just right down the road. Let's get pulled in here. Leave myself a little room while I pull in. Because the plan is to set it up on some ramps. Just give myself a little more room while I'm crawling under this, Johnny. Why well, out of there? <laughs> we can't be playing music, man. We're going to get copyright. I killed it. What's up, Asim? What we got going here, brother? Building a rack. What's this rack for? Oh, it's for that big boy right there. I suppose I should turn off my headlights, huh? I'm so fucking proud of this. It's not welded yet, so I just gotta maintain that. But what does that say? 89 and an 8. 89 and an 8. What is this say? I believe that says 89 and an 8. I believe that does also say 89 and an 8. <laughs> you know what uh, maybe. Square. It's a <laughs> fucking square. <laughs> well, so what you got next then? Square. That'll be the real impressive thing is it stays square. Yep. Alright, well. Uh, 
Well, that guy's over there zapping away at that stuff. We're just gonna go ahead and get this oil changed on this Subaru. So let's uh, get the hood up in here and get to it. First thing I love about this WRX is, man, they just put that oil filter in such a convenient spot. I don't know whoever at Subaru came up with that idea, but man, thank you. Right there. Ooh, that's the amp fuse. All right. Turn Let's get ready for this right there. Is it already going? It's already gone. Watch this. Professional pouring. You're gonna fuck it off. That's not even close. Oh shit. <laughs> oh there shit. There goes a the court. <laughs> the fucking. Just dump it like it's Drano, man. Face of pure focus here. I'm gonna leave half of court in there. Bang. Didn't spill a drop. Let's fucking go. All right. Let's get this sucker welded up. It's what? Hot. Why? Oh, because I just melted it together. Oh. Pretty fucking wild, eh? Yeah, it's wild, man. Alright, we're at 89 and an 8. Hold on. Hold on the other side just so we know. Why don't you bring the Yopro over here just for some verification real quick? What does that say? 89 and 8. Roughly. somewhere he had to go stop by black rock first but uh i haven't seen the house don't know what it looks like we'll we'll show you when we get there but let's uh take you along and we'll be there soon We have reached the uh, small, beautiful town of Silverton. Let's go ahead and just uh, show them real quick. There you go. About five more minutes, and then we'll be back at uh, Mom's, and we'll show you what's going on there. All right, here at my mom's house. Got here like about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Already got to work. Carpet's torn up. Got the washer and dryer out. The uh, Drywall was a little bit rotten right there. Got the carpet out here, got all the staples and that uh, foam stuff that's underneath the carpet out too. Pretty much every window was busted out. You can see there's no window in here. This one was good. That one was busted out. All the garage windows, or not the garage windows, the bathroom windows rather were busted out. Quite a few holes in the wall that needed to be fixed here. And some soda as it looks like, spattered on the wall. A 
But yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. I was kind of thinking it was going to be in horrible shape, but it's not super bad. See the bathrooms busted out there too. Don't know what the need for busting all these windows out were, but apparently they found one. Okay, got the GoPro set up. Let's take this trim off around this uh, toilet here. It's a bit rotted. Goodbye trim. It was hiding a little pocket down here too actually. There's some hydrogen peroxide in there. Kind of funny. Alright guys, that's it for today. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. Sorry it's been all uh, like kind of scattered around and lots of different things are going on, but it's, it's what I had for you. Uh, there's more coming out on the $650 Dakota. We're just waiting on an engine for that. Remember to like and share this video uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment on the video. I'm trying to come up with a name for the Dodge and I need you guys' help with that. So, so leave what you think the name for the Dodge should be down below and uh, we'll see you in the next one.